my last video I used my DIY overtone right and I used um, four ounces of truly red and two ounces of ginger so this is how it looks right now it's a really pretty uh, orangey it's like salmon but it leans more of an orange I'm going to put the rest of ginger in here see how that looks that's a real good orange. Ooh, I like that a lot. It has a little bit of a brown tone to it too, which isn't bad. So I'm going to uh, use this on Monday when I wash my hair. So here is how it looks. Let me show y'all. So, if you ask me, I don't think it looks much different. I don't think it's faded much from the last time, which is great. So it's still putting on the color, which is very nice. So it's keeping my red at the same color. Bonus. Totally awesome. I put a lot on my hair this time, like a lot, and let it sit there for closer to, I think, seven minutes. Uh, I, I do think the color is very pretty. I do love the depth of the color. Um, I, I there's really nothing negative I can say about it. I think it looks I think it looks great. There there probably are like like right here if you can see there are some missed pieces. So because of that, I'm thinking of doing a uh, where I dye my hair with the overtone. If you remember back last summer, I did a DIY overtone using Manic Panic and I dyed my hair with the overtone. I don't know if I'll do it in the next wash or the wash after, probably the wash after, um, to make sure I can get it like fully saturated everywhere. And then I can show you the results of that so you can see how it looks. Because the one thing I like about overtone it, or or the you know the DIY overtone is that you can use it as a wash or you can use it as a dye. So that's nice. So you have both of those options where you can, you know, you can let it slowly deposit color over time or you can do it all at once. Granted, it is a more diluted color than having the pure dye on your hair, but it still will deposit color on your hair. So I think that's really nice to have that option. Um, so that's another reason why I really like the overtone. I am just, it's hard though when you're in the shower and your hair is already wet and I'm in like this super small shower where I feel like no matter, I can, there's like nowhere I can really turn that gets me like away from the water on me. I have to like, like fit myself into like the corner of the shower. So it's, and it's also hard because I don't have a mirror or anything, which maybe I should put like a little mirror just to make sure that I get color everywhere. So that's the only tricky part is I can't really see what I'm doing so I have to like kind of like feel around and I'm wearing gloves so I have to like kind of like feel around and guess okay did I get did I get here did I get here and so that's another reason why I used so much of this DIY overtone. Also because of the Adore dye being a gel and mixing it with the Tresemme conditioner it's a thinner product than it has been when I've used the Arctic Fox or the Manic Panic. It's just much thinner so I felt like I had to like really be careful because it was just like it would want to like fall through my fingers so I'd like be real careful in, in applying it and making sure that it got on my hair, more on my hair than on than on the floor you know. <laughs> and uh, So that's everything. What do you guys think? Do you notice a difference? Maybe I'll be able to tell when I edit this video if there is a difference. But I like it and I think it's great and this has definitely opened me up to many other like many other options as to what I could do next with my hair. I've had some people write me and comment and tell me of like some fun colors they're gonna do soon with a door dye and um, it's great because these are all you guys are also giving me ideas as to what I could do in the future. So that's everything. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for everything. And I'll catch you on the flip.